that it started with Nixon's war on drugs, right? And, you know, we know now because, uh, what was it, uh, Haldeman, right, his aide that came out just the last year or two and said that President Nixon wasn't actually interested in drugs, but he, he wanted to declare a war on black people and hippies, and he couldn't call it that. So he came up with a different idea, you know, I don't want to say clever, but a devious plan to call it something other than what it was. And at the time, no one cared about drugs in America. It wasn't even in the top 50 of concerns of, of the general public. Police departments also didn't care about it. And when they found out that police departments didn't want to go around and arrest people for low level drug crimes, they created these incentive plans, right, where they would give federal money to the police departments in exchange for them meeting quotas of arresting people, mostly young people, and charging them with these low level drug crimes. So of course, that was the first thing that exploded the prison population. And then the politicians started passing these mandatory sentencing laws. 